It's a vlog! A vlog, a vlog, what's it called? A vlog with a V. Um, hi. <laughs> I don't vlog often. I sometimes do, and then I have the footage and I never make it into a video, which is, that's on me. But Libby over on Instagram and who I've actually met in person was like, are you going to vlog your home renovation? And I was like, that's actually a brilliant idea. So I'm going to do that. But what I'm going to show you right now is the before. So today is Saturday. You don't need to know the exact date, but it's Saturday. I am moving out of this house to an Airbnb on Monday evening. And the reason I'm doing that is because I said on Instagram, but like, our marriage, my, me and my husband, our marriage will not survive. <laughs> if I stay here, my anxiety will peak through the roof. So I have gotten an Airbnb about 10 minutes away in town. I'll be staying there. He'll be doing the work here. He'll come over there and I'll come over here. It's not like we're not going to see each other, but he can just work like straight if I'm not here <laughs> and I can survive. So I'm going to show you around our house. Um, this is what I call the lady lounge. This is where I lounge because I'm a lady. If you're not a lady, you have to take your shoes off and make sure you're not dirty when you enter. She's a lady, so she's allowed in the lady lounge, but no dirty men. So this room, what we're going to do is we're going to put a, like a, what's it called? You can't see there. We're going to put a drop cloth, you know, like with a zipper so that hopefully the dust and dirt stay out because we're not touching that room. Um, this is our bedroom, which is messy right now. I've not made the bed. That is also going to not get touched. There's a door here, but I still dust seeps through everything. And then this is our little weird hallway. It's like, this is a weird layout of the house. I'll show you the kitchen. It's messy and kind of incomplete right now, but this is what's happening. So we've already started tearing up the floor. Um, because it got damaged, the old fridge was leaking, and so it damaged the floor. You can, you can see some damage here. Um, we'll have to fix that and then relay the floor. And so, you know, it's looked like this for a while while the, the floor was drying out. And then all the cabinets will be replaced. We've already got those. These are all old appliances. Those will be replaced. And then the rest of it is kind of, you know, there's not much else. Maybe we'll clean it up and everything, but the rest of it will stay. This is a table my husband made. Um, so yeah, kitchen, it's going to be beautiful, but I'm like not that excited. Also, I dread having to repack and everything. And then going back this way, this lady lounge, bedroom behind me was the kitchen. Those are two closets. And then this is my office. This is going to also be kind of a no-go zone. So I'm going to be taking the treadmill and my yoga mat. This is a box full of skincare makeup and I'm taking it. It already weighs like 40 pounds. It's crazy. But I am still filming. I'm going to be, you know, doing my job and all that. So I'm going to take it. And then this is all like, this is just stuff, you know, like a lot, a lot of products that I have. And maybe when I move back in, it'll be a good time to declutter, but that's it for now. And then these are all my weights underneath and like my workout stuff. Sadly, I'm not going to be taking my bench or my weights, anything. I'm just going to take a yoga mat and I'm going to be doing like Pilates and yoga for the month because it's just too much to bring over there. This is where I film. If you haven't ever seen it, this is what it looks like. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my tripod and this camera that you're on. And then I've already packed up makeup and whatnot. But I think I'm going to leave the lights and I'm just going to buy natural lighting. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a learning experience. This is more storage of stuff. And yeah, this room is going to look pretty full. Like we may even move our other couch in here and it'll just be like, no go, don't go in there. And now the bathroom. So it's a tiny house. Like this house is not big, but this is the bigger of the two bathrooms. And this is my bathroom. We also have separate bathrooms, my husband and I, and we have found that if you want to make your marriage work, that is the way to do it. Two separate bathrooms, unless your husband is clean. Mine is not. So this is my bathroom. Um, he made this shelf for me. So I put a lot of products there. All my products go there. And then in here, um, 
Oh, and all of my sunscreens were on this pegboard. So this is all going to be torn up. It's just, you know, it's a very dated kind of stuff. And the tub will stay, but, you know, that's pretty much it. So this is the before. Maybe I should take some pictures too, but I think what I'm going to do now, since this is only like six minutes of a vlog, what I'm going to do is I will vlog moving into the Airbnb afterward and then kind of like show you me getting set up. And then I'll be back and forth because it's only 10 minutes away. So I'm going to come back and like need to get stuff, check in on the house and I will take you through that process. So, oh, it's a lot. It's like, I mean, we went through a whole renovation before, um, we renovated our old house and it's always worth it, but you have to, you have to let go. Like you have to be able to be like, I'm going to live in chaos for a while. So I've done it before I can do it again. But the difference is this time we've unpacked, like we've been living in this house for two years, I think. And so it's, it's harder because either you have to move everything out or you have to be prepared for it to get dirty and disgusting. So we're trying to do an in-between, but last time in our old house, it was, we never unpacked. We just moved into the house and we started renovating it immediately. So we had like our beds or bed. We had one bed. We don't, we don't split that. We do separate bathrooms, but one bed. So we had our bed and then like some stuff in the bathroom, but not really a lot. And then clothes in a closet, but it was, you know, very minimal living. So it's going to be different and a little bit harder this time, but I think it'll be fun. And my husband is a contractor, so he does all the work and I sometimes do some work. I usually like go and like sweep and clean up behind him, but I can tile, I can lay floor. I can, you know, kind of handy. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys. I'll see you in the Airbnb in a few days. All right. I'm in the new Airbnb. So this is the bedroom. I got my little tripod. I think I'm probably going to film like here, sitting on the bed with natural light and then using this little table. Yeah. That's probably the, the best solution. So this is what it looks like. This is the outside. It's winter, so I don't know if I'll sit out there, but it's very nice. And then through there, I have a little spot to park. Come in here, closet, hung up some clothes. I gotta put some clothes away. And then going through here, we have the washer and dryer. Um, bathroom. You know I had to bring my little caddy because I like to take a bath, but I'm realizing this bath is quite small, so we'll see. But uh, there I am. There's some more storage. This is the kitchen. I brought my blender because I make protein shakes every morning, and I needed to wash some uh, cups that I had, so apologies. But this is so nice. I mean, I feel like I don't cook enough to warrant this. And then Durham, because we're in Durham. Bowls, Durham bowls. Oh, focus. I've already got myself starting to get set up. This is where I'm going to work. And then I'm probably going to put my computer here. So like, let's see. Let me show you my computer here, um, my personal computer, and then my work computer, and then I'm going to put the treadmill here. I might need to put this up on a box though, because it's so low. And then uh, this is the living room. So it's really s quite small, like kind of like a straight shot, what's it called, like Charleston gun gunshot style or whatever. But it's really cute, and I don't need much room. I'm going to open some of these windows later because it just needs a little bit more light. That's the one thing I might feel like I should tell them. Like, the lighting is not great. <laughs> First off, they're like those yellow lights. And then in the kitchen, these blinds were not open. And these lights do not... There's just no light in here. Like, I don't know. It's very quite dark. So, and same with the bathroom. Like... I'm going to have to do my makeup elsewhere, probably there. So 
So this is it though. Um, not much to it. And I will show you, you know, what my husband is getting up to over at the house as it goes. But, oh, look at this. I could put it right there. If I were shorter, it would work. But that natural light is so good. So, also I got a haircut. I cut off like five inches and I regret it so much. Not only, I mean, the length is fine and it feels so healthy, but I got layers and I don't like it. So I probably am just going to wear my hair up for the next four months until it grows. Anyway. Oh my, 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 my. <laughs> I haven't been over to the house in a few days. This is our, like one of the living rooms. It's got the old fridge, all of the supplies, some flooring, and then this is the kitchen. Um, nothing has changed. Oh, we took up more of the floor. And, oh, hi. Hello, come here. So working on the floor, like there was a lot of water damage because the fridge leaked. Hi. That's where the fridge will go. And then the dishwasher, we'll put it back in the same place. Sink and the oven and microwave. But it's pretty much looking like shit right now. And then the floor is just, it will just replace what that was. Oh wow, what's going on out there? They're also renovating that house. So I think that's, I think that's theirs. Um, yeah, that's a bad, bad one right there. But this little girl, she's so sweet. We call her a construction kitty. She lived through, look at her, she won't go on like this floor maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And then the bed is kind of somewhat taken care of. Oh my gosh, he's still making the bed and I am not here, which is, I've trained him well. And then um, my lady lounge, my office, and the bathroom is also gutted. Well, not really, just the sinks out. So that's it. I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here because it's like the demo, me moving into the house. And then once we start like actually doing more in the kitchen, I will take you along. This hair just sticks straight out, no matter how much hairspray. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed stage one, part one of the home reno vlog. And I will see you in the next one.